Julius Caesar introduced a leap year to the calendar every four years way back in 46 BC, but he kind of messed up. First, a little review on why we have leap years. A calendar year is 365 days, but it really takes the Earth about 365 and a quarter days to circle the sun. Without leap years, we would start to fall behind. In 100 years, we would be 25 days behind schedule, meaning spring would start in February, but winter would start in November. So Caesar adds a leap year every four years, which creates a different problem. The Earth's trip around the sun is very close to 365.25 days, but not quite. It's short by 11 minutes. As a result, in the year 1582, Pope Gregory XIII introduced the Gregorian calendar. In this calendar, leap years are skipped three times every 400 years. The three that are skipped are years that end in 00, but cannot be divided by 400. So the year 2000 ends in 00, but you could divide it by 400, so it was a leap year. The year 2100, on the other hand, cannot be divided by 400, so it will not be a leap year. 